this first experience I had uh, just a couple of nights ago, um, and it was interesting to see in the experience in relation to the things that I read in the new books or the little uh, picture articles or uh, different things of this nature. But the experience itself, uh, as it presented itself, or as I rec was able to recognize it, uh, I was in this space that was just completely uh, blank or black. And I find myself in this space often in some experiences if there is a particular something particular that I need to see so that the focus can be emphasized, you might say. And in this blank space, as I'm looking into it and I can't see anything, there's no uh, reference of depth or, or anything like that. But as I'm looking into it, all of a sudden I start to see the outline of people and the outline of things, uh, various things like buildings and cars, and you might say it's something like a city scene or a cityscape. And what was interesting though, was that even though I could see the outline of these things, they were still see-through and I could still see the this, this uh, void, you might say, or this unknown, there was this, uh, it was still present there. And as I'm looking at all these people and all these things happening, just regular uh, things that people do on the earth, they, the outline of them turned golden. And when it turned golden, it was like a light bulb went off or I had this awareness or I was being shown. And I started to see that in all these things that happen on the uh, earth and in all these creational things, whatever it is, even down into the physical realm, but just all through the creative realms themselves, that this isness is in everything, that it's not everything. It's not like it, um, like how people say um, certain things are love or this is love and that it's not really like that, but there's an aspect of it uh, in everything in creation. It's not that these things in creation are it, but there's aspects of it in everything. And that creation itself is sort of like this kind of shell or like this hollow kind of reflection. So it was just, it was more of a recognition. So it's a little bit hard to put into words, but that was sort of the basic idea. So I just thought that was very interesting and I wanted to share it with everyone here. So that's the first one. Okay, in this second experience, uh, this one I just thought was kind of fun. Uh, this experience, uh, I was standing in a grassy field and there was these uh, trees and different things around and, and like buildings and statues and stuff like that, like almost like a memorial kind of statue, how uh, they build. And uh, Dwayne, you were there and you were on like something like a, a it was kind of like a, a little bulldozer or something like that, some piece of construction equipment, heavy, heavy machinery. And there was this little crane arm so you could grab stuff and pull it and and stuff like that. And and I remember you were going around this field and you were pulling all of these things out of the ground and it would up it would uproot them. So like even the statue itself had these roots and there was these trees, very twisted looking trees, and you were pulling them up and all these things you were pulling them up. And this crowd of people on the right-hand side of myself, they were getting upset and trying to say, you know, what are you doing? You know, what the heck is going on? You know, leave, you know, uh, basically like uh, as if you were destroying what it, whatever it was that there was there that they were relating to. And I remember I kind of looked at them and it was almost as if I didn't speak to them, but I was saying to them, that he's not destroying anything that if you know like you have to see what he's doing that there's nothing being destroyed it's you know there's a bigger picture it's like i was trying to explain to them what's really happening in the scene and but they couldn't see it it was like this group of maybe 15 or so people they were getting all uh, really been out of shape feeling like their little world was being destroyed but it was really the ideas uh, that were being sort of uprooted or confronted so i just thought that was kind of a fun experience wanted to share as well so thank you yeah that makes sense so again you see things are being pulled out uh, and the idea there it's machinery so it's like uh, you know ideas pulled out of the earth the old ideas statues uh, you know the you know, people make statues of people that are so-called 
uh, great or whatever, George Washington, uh, Stalin, whatever. You have all these statues and, and things like that. And the other day there was an experience to where on the real side he was climbing a mountain with others. And all of a sudden the, the leader of this, uh, one of the guides of the leader, uh, came upon uh, a giant column, you know, like the Roman columns that uh, you see in buildings and especially federal buildings and on the White House and that, the uh, column. And he took it and he threw it down and it just, you know, went into the darkness, the abyss and, and disintegrated. Well, the column represented the old ideas of things, you know, say, that have been around for so long and you know, like the Roman era, et cetera, which was all domination. They dominated the world, et cetera, this domination idea. And so that was tossed aside. And so your experience there is very good. Yes, little by little, we're pulling things up. And yes, I I see this. That's why I'm many times, uh, and some of us are blackballed from uh, Facebook and other things. I was just blackballed from Instagram for I don't know what, and I didn't even really put anything on there, a few little things. I, I don't really go there, and all of a sudden I got a notice weeks ago that I'm kicked out, etc. So it's like, this is how it is, and this is the world controllers. They're doing everything they can to uh, offset it. But, yeah, it's the people there represent, uh, you know, their attachments to these ideas that have been around for so long. And, uh, you know, how, uh, you know, the trees and that, if you saw those or whatever, that the environment has become all twisted and strange, et cetera. Things are growing strange, uh, just like the GMO food where animals come out deformed, et cetera. You know, it's, it's become a deformed world and, producing I don't know, mainly all the food and everything is, uh, you know, has chemicals, has different things in it and uh, just poisoned, et cetera, and trying to let the world know. And <clears throat> even from my position here, uh, it's uh, rather frustrating because there's a lot of things I want to do and present to people. And so, again, most of the time, they don't want to hear, which is understandable. And that's why I write all these images. I produce these things to, you know, in many different ways on many different subjects to give people the, um, the view of, you know, gently bringing them along that, yes, we have these experiences, but at the same time, the reason behind these things, just like the one I wrote, the frustrated children, and it's very obvious that, you know, children, you know, the individual that came into this lifetime, each one of us here, we didn't come in to be mind framed and uh, brainwashed and <laughs> indoctrinated by a strange system that just continually uh, ruins you uh, and um, has nothing to do with your real awareness. Well, we came in here to wake up and see something real and relate to that uh, accordingly. And yes, the isness is is all, okay? And in things that we create because that's how it is. And seeing it so, like the air we breathe, it's it's the isness, it's just like it. And you don't see attitudes and happiness and sadness and love and that with it, there's something else. But at the same time with our personal self, Yes, we have these things. It's okay just to learn to relate to them that uh, these things and ideas that we create, such as love and happiness and all this and, and the thrills that we want, uh, these are simply things with the personal self, and they are not absolutes. That becomes the difference. So, yes, little by little out there, and I've seen it many times, and uh there are also uh, experiences in the group, too, where uh, the boys once again are doing the land moving thing and they're leveling the land and starting over, etc. And I see the potential of like Ramon's experience, etc. And so, again, on the real side, 
it is set up a particular way. It's put in motion first. Something is created, just like something is created here, like the new presentation, like Paul created his presentation at the time. And you see what happened to that. It got taken over, et cetera. So management of all this is, is huge to be around and manage something that has a reference to something real and understandable. And so here comes uh, the bigger adventure, et cetera. And I see this too as this is happening, but it's a step at a time. So uh, Mexico has given the advantage here of doing certain things, et cetera. But uh, all life, uh, you know, provides itself in whichever way it can. So uh, I have ideas also about uh, the United States and the world as it is, et cetera, um, coming up. But it's a step at a time. So that that is really cool that uh, the experience that Ramon has had and he's being shown a potential okay and so just like me when i was given the rod of power in 2001 i was really shown a potential and it was up to me to decide something now if i didn't decide it it wouldn't be so so these things in the in the personal uh sense and uh, on earth and in this dimension etc will only become so if it's decided so and there is agreement there. So again, it's showing the potential, always showing the potential, et cetera. And just like Ramon's experience where he's saying that, you know, I have a childlike nature. And yes, we all have that. And these individuals there, well, they're like grown-ups, okay? They're doing the big things, et cetera. And I see that, too. I feel like the child with all of this, because Rebizar and the boys are the bigger ones. And, you know, they they are deciding to what they want to promote and et cetera. And we kind of follow along and see if we want to take part, et cetera. So I like the adventure of the potential. And I have ideas that I haven't expressed yet uh, that incorporate uh, your experience, Ramon, etc. And so again, Mexico here is a point, uh, etc. But yeah, it will constantly expand. But at the same time, uh, agreement is needed. And this is what people don't see. We have been taught the idea that, oh, it'll be some miracle or God says this in the Bible or whatever. No, it's only if people decide to do it. And I see with each one of us every day, it is what we decide to do. So all life is awareness. And at the same time, we utilize creation. It's very important to do that because this gives us our comparison uh, of what isn't real compared to what is real. But so again, it's all its own reality and it's all needed to recognize the bigger picture. So again, this big adventure that's being presented to you, uh, Ramon, is a potential. And so again, you decide uh, if you're gonna take the risk to take part. So when I took the rod of power, I didn't know instantly what to do. It took me quite a while. So I basically did what I'd always done. I'd always been already been in the public for over 30 years since I started with Paul in 1970. And I continued to do that in different ways. And at a certain point, I got frustrated because uh, it was seemed to be the same and it seemed to not expand upon itself. So certain things in the physical had to take place also. So I went through a lot for years to eventually little by little figure it out because it is a much, much bigger picture. So again, you're seeing like the end result of a new beginning but it just depends upon who will step up and take the risk and be creative and uh, in the physical here. So we see individuals on the real side uh, that, uh, you know, are interested in what we're doing, like Jeremy's previous experience of uh, last month with the cartel sitting at a table and the table represents business and uh, et cetera. So, but getting that for that individual to agree in the physical sense, 
that takes a lot of maneuvering and that's why I want to do the projects here to show the people what we're doing to get their interest and this is what it takes and so first we start off with the books and the writing and we talk to people and eventually get something established so they can see what we're doing that is the whole idea so the temple there is an idea is what it is it's giving you uh, the visual aid of the idea and so again it's like looking at a set of blueprints for a building yeah you have the blueprints there it is and that's what you're shown those are the blueprints but who's going to step up and build it who's going to do it see everybody most people just sitting back and watching again we've been raised with the biblical uh jesus idea etc uh, and that's very profound in this world that we, oh, we'll wait for Jesus and he'll do his miracles. Well, that's not how it works. And uh, I used to, in a way, in the beginning, think that, well, that's what Paul did. You know, he just snapped his fingers and the books were done. No, he had to physically do it. He had to sit there and write all day. And that's what I've done, too, and others, etc. getting others involved to do something. And so one of the things we're doing down here with Val is uh, the new trail, Sunrise New Trail. Many little things, many little avenues to touch people and to get their interest. And as they go out there and do that, as Val and, and Peter is here right now going out there and talking to people as one example, well, all of a sudden, wow, they're interested. See, that's like a little wake up. So taking these experiences for granted and not knowing what to do doesn't do it you have to decide to wake up and take part but if you have excuses of other things then it don't happen i know the richest family in the world the dragon family okay and i knew count albert uh 2014 as an example and that's when i was creating i created so i wanted to create something so i I looked at things and I thought, okay, well, I'll just I'll create the vessel project as an idea. This is all solar research vessel, and it would be an attention getter. And so here I was introduced to the richest uh, family in the world, Count Albert Asini, who had been in Ekankar, who had been on spiritual paths, etc. So step by step, I was introduced to him, and Albert knew basically everybody in the world, from the Pope to the FBI, CIA, whatever, even the mafia in the world. And they all liked him. They used to have little parties with him or whatever. But anyhow, so uh, I presented this to Albert, and even on the real side, it started to take off. And there was other people involved at the time. But it came to the point where after, uh, after th th certain experiences, after about four or five, six years, uh, Albert finally passed away, but I saw him on the real side before he passed away. And he kept promising, I'll get you the funding, Duane, I'll get you the funding to do this, etc." Well, he never did. And I had many people working with him too, other seers, etc. And he was so resistant and he was so afraid, saw it on the real side too, and the seer saw it, he was afraid. And he could have done so much because he had the potential and he was going to take over the kingdom and the treasury if he would have taken the drink and stayed there longer. And I told Albert, I said, you know, I'll take it with you. Let's do it. Let's do this adventure. He wouldn't do it. And I saw him uh, the night before he passed with uh, Rebazar on the real side. We all three of us were sitting like in a little cafe in a booth. And Rebazar was there, and uh, it, he didn't look like Rebazar, but I knew it was him. But the impression was he was uh, the fellow that uh, created the Twilight Zone, uh, Rod Serling, uh, because that's where Albert was going. And I saw uh, Rebazar uh, take him off, etc. So what I'm saying here is, is that Albert had all this chance, and he had experiences to do something here in the physical sense huge but he said no he even told me on the real side he said i'm not going to get you the funding i'm not going to do it he was very adamant etc so again people have attitudes and i see the potential of so much 
and then I see people spin around and uh, just go back to their personal life with excuses or whatever, go to funerals, weddings, and you know, look for their la-la land again, and even go back to Agincar. Yeah, because they don't really see it. They don't really see, you know, we talk about the isness and that, but they don't really see it. And I've known the best seers. They never saw it. They even went back to the dark side. And they had all these experiences with Rebazar and whatever, and all this was presented to them. And you know what? They did nothing. So again, don't take the experiences for granted. I never do. You know, I'll just go out there and I'll face the world. I don't care. Uh, I have assets that deal with world governments. And I face them all uh, from the uh, United States to other countries, et cetera. I'm facing that. And I'm surprised I'm still here. This is very real. Yeah, more so than any spy movie or James Bond. I chose this many, many years ago, over 15 years ago. And I've been just at it adamantly. And finally, I'm getting an agreement because for years I've been blocked. And it's been a real struggle for me to do this. As I've created the new presentation, I never wanted the membership or whatever. I didn't want to baby a bunch of people. I mean, we already went through the babysitting. Paul set that up. That was it. I wanted to show people how to be self-sufficient for themselves. And I decided to get the funding and things myself and not beg others for it, etc. cetera, uh, like the corporation is set up now. And I'm not interested in any of that. I'll just... I'll, figure it out myself, and then show everybody how to do it for themselves. And they decide to step up if they want to do. So this is uh, the new day, the new now, uh, et cetera. And so again, people are shown experiences. And I'm working with some seers myself. And for the most part, they still don't get it. It's like it's all about them. Oh, I'm having these visions. And oh, this is, and I'm with Rebizar and Paul and whatever. And this is happening, whatever, and it's like, okay, fine, but are you seeing what's really going on? And for the most part, no, they're not. They're not seeing it. So there are the hints there, like in Jeremy's experience, where I'm pulling things out of the ground, too, you know, and it's bothering people. And uh, I really don't like to bother people. There's one experience that uh, of many that... I'm dealing with another individual and on the real side, the real awareness keeps beating him up and he's very bothered by this. He even feels it physically and Rebazar and Paula beat him up too because it's very, very, very literal. And he asked me, why are you beating me up? Why are you and Rebazar, why are you guys beating me up all the time? And it's like, because you're so literal, we're trying to slap the nonsense out of you. But if you want to keep it, if you want it, then it's yours, then quit. There was a movie called G.I. Jane, and the idea was it was you become a Navy SEAL. And so it's a very good movie with Demi Moore, and there's a bell there that if you want to quit, ring the bell. But other than that, they beat the hell out of you to get you to focus and pay attention to something real. Because the world is getting worse every single moment. They're burning up all the forests everywhere. By the, the G's are going up, 5, 6, 7 G. More pollution, more just everything. Everything is ruined. So, again, this is a potential. But who's going to step up and take part and actually do it? Go out there and face the world, etc. And just like I explained here, Count Albert, he was too afraid. Richest family in the world. He had it right there. Could have done so much to help out. It's not about the money. It's about, you know, the creativeness of doing something, taking the risk. I like the adventure. I like the challenge. But getting people to agree to something that makes sense with the world, that's huge. Because people chase the money and they want it just for themselves. And like, oh, I want to do this or that. Or even give it to charities or whatever. What are these charities doing? It has nothing to do with awareness. What I create references people's awareness. Not give them cute and pretty ideas that we have went through. Spiritual, divine, holy, you're this. Oh, you'll be loved and all these things. We did that in high school. We chased being loved and liked and whatever. 
It's not about us. It's about what life is. So like the air you breathe, it supports you. And how often do you focus on that? There's the isness right there. And without it, you're gone. And you go into another lifetime unconscious and trying to find it again. And this is what Rebusar told Paul while he was training him. He said, you can do it now or you can do it later. But again, if you look to do it later, there's no guarantee that you will see it. So you've got it now. Are you going to hang on? You're going to do something? So it's in the doing, isn't it? Yeah. And it's all for you. It's all now. And it's a lot. But you've got that personal life to compare to. What's more important? Yeah. Yes, thank you for these experiences, kids. It gives me an opportunity to say something. But as I've gone through my experiences here with so many people, I see where things eventually go. Yeah, we have the experiences. We talk about them. But as time goes on, what is actually being done? Who is actually stepping up and risking their life, facing it, facing it point blank? I am. I'm waiting for them to come and get me and whatever, whatever. If that's to happen, it's going to happen. Yeah. I don't want to run from it. I want to face it and see it. And then I'll just do what I can. So we'll see how this works, uh, et cetera. So, again, I'm not attached to Mexico or anything. I'm just here right now doing what I can, and we'll see what comes up next. So I'm always starting over with whatever the new plan is, and that comes from the real guys. So see what's next. So thank you for listening. It's all for you.